What a unique venue here this afternoon. We are live at Falcor Bay. I'm Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. East. Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. Despite being six foot five inches tall, one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. That is true confidence going with somebody so heavy. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Eastern Pennsylvania. Here is one of boxing's all-time greats, the heavyweight champion of the world. An open-air outdoor stadium. What a venue for this contest. Can you feel the heat? There's no escape in it. It's just there. Can you imagine being the fighter? Sometimes you think under the lights is hot, but when you've got the sunlight, it's a lot to take in. Let's you can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. They can't land that punch. Got him with a clean right uppercut. Considering we're outside in the sold out arena, it almost feels like the Roman Coliseum and two gladiators going at it. In such heat, the corner men need to be able to do their job. Think about what they're doing. Want to pull you down, want to ice you back, want to give you instruction in your head, and want to just calm you to tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Because that's the most important thing. Forget about the heat, forget about everything else. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. And he misses with that jab. That counter punch will score. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Perfect counter lands. Nice exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counter punching from both these fighters. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. I've been in fights like that. Here we go, round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarmer. Be smart. Be sharp. Concentrate what you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance. Because that swarmer, once you do that, you're giving the man a chance that shouldn't have one. That counter shot land. Not a lot of defense here at all. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Fighter's not shown us much defense at all. Well, keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to get one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. 
You gotta be fit for this one. Lands with the right counter. Even man really defending themselves. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Big Daddy in trouble. Oh, I heard that little by Silver. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. The bell rings and we start the third. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighters. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Beautiful counter punch. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Both men step back for just a moment. Exchanges from both men in this round. And this with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Perfect punch. He got out of the way of that right hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. And there's the bell to start round four. After that last round, something has got to change. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. What a punch. <laughs> Left counter scores. He misses with that jab. <laughs> and they figure out the combination to this safe. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. So one who draws first blood top, that's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. And he just missed with that left jab. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a round that 
seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Yes, I like that round. Good and feel good. Good man. See it and he'll ride it out. Go out there. Time for the fifth round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think of you just gotta be smarter than you. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket. Catch and shoot. Nice counter shot. And this is that jab. Left-handed jab doesn't quite score. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A shot with the left. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. down big time on the score. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. This is the beginning of round six. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. He threw the hook, didn't land. Neither man really defending themselves. Only catching air with that hook. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's just like a match made in heaven. Nice exchange here from both men. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good counter right-handed kick. And the heavyweight version goes to the canvas. I've seen many shots like a simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. That'll be a 
10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Here comes round seven. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood touch. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be... There you have it, it is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. They don't like that, listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is gonna give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 